Well, hi, y'all. It's Trixie. I've got another call with a utility scammer for you. This isn't a funny call. It's more educational into how this scam works. There's a point where the scammer puts me on hold. Normally, I would edit out the hold time, but this time I did not. Listen to the hold message. It gives away that these scammers also have a scam impersonating Bank of America. I do get a Zelle account from the scammer, which was reported then shut down within an hour. So that's awesome. Please tell loved ones about this scam because these scammers don't just target the elderly. Anyone with a power bill is their customer. Enjoy. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Yes, hello. How are you doing today, ma'am? Oh, well, I'm fine. How are you? Nice to hear that. I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. Um, the main reason for the call is to inform you about a payment that has not been made on the account. This is for the electrical service, ma'am. Oh, well, I, I try to pay my bill on time all the time. Right. Um, by any chance, do you have any proof of payment on Andy for the past 60 days? which is um, two months already. Past, past 60. You said yes. this is about my electric? Yes, ma'am. The electric um, bill. The electrical bill. And you didn't get my last payment? No, ma'am. That's why we're calling you to inform you that that payment was not um, received in the, in the account. Um, that's the main reason for the call, to see if we can go ahead and update the account and prevent the disconnection from taking place at the moment. Are you able to process the payment at the moment, ma'am? So I can go ahead and transfer. Why would yes. it be connected? Oh my goodness. Be because the system, um, since there is no payment reflected on the account, the system has automatically generated a disconnection work order that has already been dispatched to your electrical service. I mean, um, to your service address, um, which that will be taking place within the next 25 to 30 minutes. If you wish to stop the disconnection, I can go ahead and transfer you over to the billing department. So like that, I can um, further assist you with the issue that you're going through, and hopefully we can stop the disconnection at the moment. Okay. Uh, so you're saying that if I, if I, uh, that I need to pay my last bill? Yes, and if, yes, if, I, that if is. I don't, if I, if I haven't paid it, my electricity is going to be turned off in 20 minutes? In 20 to 25 minutes, ma'am, since there is... Oh, my is goodness, I need my electricity on. Yes, but don't worry. Um, since you're on the phone with us, you will not be disconnected, okay? What I can do for you is to transfer you over to the supervisor in charge so like that he can further assist you with the payment, okay? and hopefully we can stop the disconnection right away. Yes, I need to stop it right away. Okay, perfect. Are you making a payment of the full amount to date, or that will be yet a partial payment? Well, how much is it? Um, it shows here that there is an amount due to $398.73. That's what the system requires in order for you to stop the disconnection and update the account. Okay, ma'am? Give me that amount again, 300 and what? And ninety eight dollars and seventy seven cents. Well, that's so, not how much my bill was. This um, way. what was your bill? Do you remember the amount that? I thought it was two hundred and something. Um, no, ma'am. It shows here that there is an amount of three hundred ninety eight. Um, that's what the system requires in order for you to stop the disconnection. So allow me just one brief moment while I go ahead and transfer you over to the payment department. So like that, I can guide you how to update the account and cancel the, pay the disconnection, okay, ma'am? Okay, let me, give me a minute. Let me log into my bank because I use the online bill pay to pay the electric. Yes, ma'am, but right now you cannot process the payment through the app. That's the main issue. That's the main reason why your payment are not reflecting because your billing information are not updated to our new bank. So that's why we're calling you because the switch of the bank that the company did 
um, we did inform you. We did send out notification letter informing you that you were supposed to update the account to what we know financial institution, which you haven't done it yet. So at the moment, you cannot process the payment through the app or any on credit card or check payment will not stop the disconnection at the moment. Okay, ma'am. So what I can do for you is to transfer you over to the billing department. So like that, it can guide you how to update the account and cancel the payment. Okay, ma'am? Well, then what I was saying is I've already paid this month in, in the, on the bank yes, and the automatic bill pay. Yes, ma'am, but that's what's going on. Since you process the payment um, through your bank, um, mm -hmm. those payments did not went to the correct account. That's what I'm trying to inform oh. you that you were supposed to update the account. Yes, so allow me just one brief moment while I go ahead and transfer you over so like that we can go ahead and update the account for you. Okay, ma'am? Okay. Okay. Hold All down. right. Thank Hold you. Hold on a moment, please. You're welcome. Would you like to know the hours of operation of a nearby financial center? Visit bankofamerica.com and choose Find Your Closest Financial Center or using our mobile app, simply ask Erica for your nearest financial center. Did you know you are eligible to enroll in the Preferred Rewards Program? Preferred Rewards members receive exclusive benefits and rewards on their everyday banking, including a rewards bonus on eligible Bank of America credit cards, an interest rate booster on qualified savings accounts, auto and loan discounts, and much more. Don't miss out. Speak to an associate to learn more and activate your membership today. Would you like to know the hours of operation of a nearby financial center? Visit bankofamerica.com and choose find. Thank you so much for contacting the payments department. This is Simon speaking, payment specialist and supervisor in charge. Who well, I have the pleasure of speaking to today. Uh, yes, sir. My name is Ann Miller. Hello, Ann. How are you doing today? Well, I was doing all right until I found out I've got some trouble here. And I'd like to try to take care of it. Okay, I'll be more than glad to assist you with that, Anne. Before we continue, I just need, would like to remind you that for quality and training purposes, this call has been monitored and recorded, okay? Okay. Um, I see here, yeah, you haven't transferred over, Anne, due to a disconnection work order you have going on in the next 25 to 30 minutes from now. So you will need to generate a disconnection cancellation number by making an express payment to your meter. I don't know how to do that. I have the. Oh, I'm gonna everything. help you, ma'am. Okay. Oh, I I have everything set up in my bank on on um, automatic payment where I just not automatic but uh, through the bill pay. Okay. Um, the problem is that you, you're not able to utilize the bill pay because your account is not updated to a new payment vendor. So you only have two options. You're not able to generate to process the payment with a debit card, credit card, check, or online payment through our Apple website. Any of those would need 24 to 48 business business hours to be processed and reflected. So that won't be on time to avoid the disconnection you have going on at this moment, ma'am. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, what do I what do I have to do? Well, we have several options here. What would be your current location zip code? So I can see if you have something close by that you can go to and make the payment with your debit card there. Make the payment with my debit card? Yes. What where, where are you, What is your zip code? Your current location Please. zip code? You don't know where I am? No, ma'am. I don't know if you're at home, at, at, at your job, oh, at your family's no, I'm house. At home. I'm at home. I'm at home. Oh, okay, okay. So, all right, so let me go ahead and take a look here. One moment. I'm taking a look here, ma'am, so please bear with me, all right? That's fine. Take your time. Thank you very much. Do I go to the bank to make a payment? No, ma'am. I mean, if you do have access to your online banking on your cell phone or your computer, you can try to do it through your bank if you prefer to instead of going out. I see here that you have... Um, a Walgreens very close by actually. That is. Yes, I do. Uh, 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 do you know the Walgreens on Mount Hermon Road? I know. I know where Walgreens is. Yeah. No, but the one on Mount Hermon Road. Do you know where that uh, Walgreens is? Um, uh, it's the CVS across the street. 
No. Do you do you don't know where the Mount Hermon Road is? Yes, I know where that Walgreens is. It's. A, um, do you know how to use the Google Maps on your phone? Uh, yes. Okay, so if you can go ahead and uh, put that in to your GPS, well, if I you can say provide it, you. If you say mm -hmm. it, I can do it um, on my online banking. I guess I'd rather do that. It depends, man, because not all banks offer the express payment feature, but I'll be more than glad to take a look for you. What is the name of the bank that you're going to be utilizing to process your express payment? Bank of America. All right, yeah, Bank of America does offer the express payment feature. Um, do you going to be using your Bank of America on the cell phone or your computer? Well, is this, is this Bank of America I'm talking to? Because when I was on hold, it was talking about Bank of America. No, ma'am. This is your electric company. This is oh, your electricity. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm getting confused, I think. Okay. Um, well, if I, you, if I go to Walgreens, what do I need to do? I will be helping you because you will be utilizing the self self kiosk machine there. All you will need to have with you is your debit card. Do you have a debit card? Um. Yes, but I don't use it very often. Um, oh, so you don't know the debit card pin for that card, the four-digit pin? I think I have it written down. I'll have to find okay. it. And I'll okay, go, go well, use the, a machine at the machine at the wall screen. Yeah, correct. What kind of machine? Excuse me? Uh, I'm just trying to understand what kind of machine at the wall It's a self self kiosk machine. It's right at the entrance, man. You, it's going to be very easy to find. It looks like an ATM machine. It actually says all point ATM on it. Automated machine. Oh, an ATM machine. Okay. And then and then what do I do? Uh, if you have never used one of this self self kiosk machine, I will provide you with the instructions once you're there, ma'am. Okay? Don't worry I about it. I see. Okay. Okay. Well, um, let's see if I can do it in my online banking first, because I'd rather try that first. Okay, but you're gonna be doing it through your cell phone, through the Bank of America app? No, my computer. I use my computer. Okay, if you're doing it through your computer, you still will need to know your ATM PIN. Okay. <laughs> Because during the payment, it's going to ask you for it, okay? You're not providing it to me. Don't misunderstand it. It's just going to be on your on your computer. It's going to ask you for it. You have to type it in to authorize your payment during the process. If you do it through your cell phone, it won't ask you for it. But you might want to do it still through the computer. Because you, uh, if it doesn't work through the computer, you might have to go to the machine. And there you will still need it, okay? Okay. Well, it's never, no, nothing's ever asked me for my PIN number in in the Bank of America before to pay a bill. Because you're gonna, you most likely never use the express payment feature, ma'am. Okay, I will go ahead and help you to do that. But I know by fact that it will ask you for it. Express payment feature. No, I don't think I've used anything called express payment feature. Okay. I use the, I use the bill pay. No, you're gonna be using the express payment feature. It's called bill pay with Zelle or send money with Zelle. Oh, the Zelle. Yeah. Oh. Did you used that before? Well, I see it in there, but I I have not. I oh, have not okay. Used it. That's why. I'm yeah, not, for the Zelle, yeah. if you use oh. utilize Zelle on the computer, it will ask you for your debit card pin. But if you do it on the mobile app, it's not going to ask you for it for the debit card pin. Okay. Well, I can do it on my phone. I just it's easier for me to see on the computer, but uh, I'll I'll give it a try. And you said I need to pay three hundred ninety eight dollars and seventy seven cents. Yes, that's the minimum uh, balance. Correct. Okay. And I think on my phone, I think. It, it it's up yeah. to you if you want to pay the full balance. So you paid off until um, February. So you, your next payment will be in February. If I pay the three ninety eight seventy seven. No, if you pay the four ninety nine and sixty five cents. Oh well, the man I was talking to before didn't give me that information. Well, the minimum is the three ninety eight seventy seven, or you pay the full balance of four ninety nine sixty five, and that gets you paid until February. February. Okay. Okay. Let me. I'm writing all this down. I need to write it down before I try to get on the phone. Now, and with the Zell, I think I did set that up. I think I sent my granddaughter a payment through Zell. Um. Okay. Hold on. Uh, you have to put the 
uh, email address or something in there, right? To do it that way? To do it how? With the Zelle. I'm going to provide you with all the instructions once you log into your uh, Bank of America, ma'am, okay? Don't worry. Hold We're on. going to do it together, step by step. Okay, four ninety nine sixty five. These amounts don't seem. I told I I can't remember the man I was talking to before you, but I told him my bill last month was two hundred and something. Yes, but this goes back, ma'am, until um September. Okay, this is not only for one month. That's why. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord! Mm -hmm. That's terrible. Yeah, that's that, you wouldn't terrible. get disconnected just for one month, ma'am. Okay, don't misunderstand this. Okay, sorry, it's taking me a minute here. No problem. Take your time. Okay. Uh, let's see the sale. Okay. Well. Uh, Are you on your bank right now? Yes. Okay. And uh, do you see the Zelle feature? Yes, and I guess I have used it. Okay. All right, so once you click on Zelle, you should have three tabs where it says Send Money, Activity, right. and Recipients and Settings. Do you see that? I do. Okay, I want you to navigate to Recipients and Settings. Okay, all right. Once you're on the Recipients and set Settings, you want to look for the option that says Add New Recipient or Add a New Contact. Okay, all right. So once you select that option, it will bring up a new window, and it will ask you for um, if it's personal or business. You're going to select personal or individual, since you have a personal account, not a business account. Oh, okay, all right. Now it should ask you for a first name, last name, nickname, email, and mobile number. Yeah. All right, so now you want to go ahead under the first name. You want to type in the, your first initial for your first name, which is an A, mm -hmm. followed by your full last name with no spaces in between, all on the same line where it's the first name line, okay? Okay. I put my name in there? Yes, yeah, the, your first initial for your first name, followed by your full last name. Okay. Oh, hold on. Okay, I got it. Now, do you see what says last name? Yes. Yeah. There you're going to type in D as in dog, P as in Paul, C as in Charlie, and O as in Oscar. Right. D, P, C, O. Yes, that's the abbreviation for the Marvel Power Company, okay? Once you have that in, do you see down below where it says mobile number or phone number? Mm-hmm. There you will put in the meter reference number. I will gener generate here for you. Let me know once you're ready so I can provide it to you. Yes, I'm ready. It's 520-367. Mm -hmm. 520 367. That's correct. Now, it might be a box there that says confirm phone number. You see that? Or confirm yeah. mobile number? Yeah. There you're going to put in the same meter reference number in again. And that's a meter reference number. Okay. Now you want to tell where it says save or add recipient. And one or two steps ahead, you will be able to see the general manager's name, which is going to be Michael. Later on, if you see Michael's name came up, that means you did everything right. If not, we have to go back and fix it, okay? Okay. Now, did you tap on save, ma'am, or add recipient? Oh, hold on. I'm just putting it in again. Hold on. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Take okay, your time, ma'am. Okay, I got it. Okay, and click save. Yep. All right. But once you have that saved in, you want to go ahead and... Um, you should get a confirmation that it was saved successfully, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now you want to go to the tab again that says send money next to activity. You see that one? Yes, I do. Very good. I want you to select that one. Once you select it, it should ask. It should give you a tab that says from. You want to click on that and select your checking account you're going to be making the payment with. Make sure you have the sufficient funds in that checking account, okay? Oh, uh, okay. All right. Now where it says to, you're going to click on that and select the recipient that you just added. That has the name that has DPCO on it. Do you see that? I do. All right. You want to select it. Now on the amount, you want to put in the amount in there. Are you paying the full balance or just a partial payment? Uh, the full balance. Okay, what would be the four ninety nine and sixty five cents? Okay, all right. 
Once you have that in, you want to tap on send money or review and send. Do you see that? Okay. Yes, I do. Hello? Yes, you want to tap on, click on that, ma'am. Hello? Yes, yeah. I'm here, ma'am. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Okay, once you click on that, what does it What does it say? Hello? Yes, I'm here. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm getting another call. Hold on one second. Okay, make sure you don't disconnect it, ma'am. We don't get disconnected. So you can just let it ring. Hello? Hello, ma'am. Do you still with me? Hello, ma'am. Do you still there? Hello? Ma'am, can you hear me? I cannot hear you. For quality and training purposes, I will need to hang up this phone call. If you can hear me, hello? please respect my call. Yes, hello? Oh, yes. Thank you for waiting. I'm sorry. No, that oh, was no. my son. Uh, that was my son on the other line. I was about to hang up on you. I thought that we got disconnected. Oh. No, no, no. I said I have another call coming in. Oh, okay. Good that I did not hang up on you. So. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. My son said I should ask you what my account number is, and you confirm it. I can do surely do so, ma'am. Do you have okay, the account great. number in front of you? Yes, I do. Yes, I can okay. get it in just a second. I can confirm the last four digits for you on the account number, okay? Okay. All right. Let me know once you're ready. Okay. Is it ending on 3145, ma'am, okay? No. Yes, ma'am. Your account number is ending on 3145. Uh, no. That's not right. What do you mean by no, ma'am? That's not the right number. Yes, ma'am, that is the right number because you you're, you're have a new account number, ma'am, as we are now an excellent company. That's why you're updating your account, ma'am. No, that's not my account number. Yes, ma'am, because you have a new account number as your account is updated to an excellent company now. Oh, well, t tell me my old account number because that's the only one I have. Um, I can surely do so. But therefore, ma'am, you have to validate the phone number that is on your account with us, besides this one that we're talking on right now for validation Just purposes. This, one. That, this is the only phone number. Let me take a look here. One second. Okay. Take your time. Hello? Yes, ma'am. I do apologize for the delay, <laughs> so I, I just tried to... Uh, look it up here, and it shows that it's not available on the system because your account is uh, on our end already updated. That's why you do have the disconnection going on, because you have not uh, um, processed your payments to your new account. If you want to go ahead and just leave it how it is and take your chances, I understand that, ma'am. You're just trying to be careful, okay? Oh, you don't know what my account number is. Yes, ma'am. It's ending on 3145. I cannot provide you no, with the whole account right. number. That's not that's the account. Your... That's not my account number. That is your new account number, ma'am. That is the last one that is on your new account number. Once you process your payment, you're going to see it in the text message you're going to receive immediately from us confirming your payment. Well, no, I want you to confirm my account number, the existing account number that I have, not the new account number that you're going to give me. No, ma'am, because that account number, as I mentioned to you before, is within our old billing system. I can look it up for you if you can provide me with the uh, phone number on the account. Not this the one that we're number. talking on. No, no. Besides that one, there's another phone number on the account. It could be a landline. No. It could be maybe your son's phone. No, it's this phone number. Can you see this phone number that you called me on? Of of course. That's why we, we called you on that. But besides that, there's another number on the account. If you provide me with that number, I can look up your old account number. That's not a problem. Well, you're not I seeming mean, to have anything. Yes, it shows you that. You do have a I don't even think you know what number. phone number you called me on. Ma'am, no, no, you, you're, you're trying to say that I'm not doing my job properly. You, I called you on 6102, ma'am. I mean, if you, as I said, if you feel uncomfortable with this or you think that this phone call is unethical, you can feel free to... Pass by one of our offices and deal with the disconnection yourself, ma'am, okay? If this would be any sort of a scam call or fraudulent call, I would be asking you for your credit card or banking information over the phone as you offered it to me at the beginning of the call. This is not what we're doing here, okay? That's I why you're doing offered, it yourself. I offered you what? You said why you can, at the beginning when I told you that you need to process the payment, you said that if you cannot process it with me over the phone. And I told you that not, that you have to go to a machine or do it online, ma'am. 
I don't think I have that, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, well, it does really matter because I could have just taken your debit card and drained out your whole account, and we wouldn't be on the phone, man. Uh, that's that's how scams work. People try to get your information. Just because you're with me on this phone call, that doesn't mean that I'm able to see whatever you do on your computer, ma'am. Right. I understand. But you don't even know my account number. So I I, I think you might have the wrong person. No, ma'am. As I already confirmed to you, your account is not updated. Okay? That's why you're going through this situation right now. You can wait for the disconnection to take place. Okay, once your service is disconnected, immediately you're going to receive as well a notification. And you can go online on your account. It's going to tell you there as well that your account has been disconnected. The four ninety nine sixty five plus the $200 you have to cover. And you're going to see your new account number there. And you will have to pay the six hundred ninety nine and sixty five cents to that account number it's going to provide you with on the website, okay? Well, if you can't give me my old account number, I'm not going to process this payment at this time. I understand that, ma'am, okay? I did set you up for reconnection for January the 3rd. Make sure that you pay the six hundred ninety nine and sixty five cents before January the 3rd to get your services back on, okay? I think you're a liar. Excuse me, ma'am? I think you're a liar. Okay, that, that's totally fine, ma'am. Is there anything else we can do for you? Any other questions that you may have before we disconnect don't, the services? Don't call me again. You're not disconnected. Anything, you liar. Well, hi, y'all. It's Trixie. I'm so glad you're here. Please like and subscribe so I can keep this channel going. See you next time.